Hello everyone, Man of Interest here for This Week in Keyboards, and it's time for a, another weekly roundup of some keyboard news. It's surprisingly light on keyset news, which is a nice change, but don't think we can get away fully from them ever, because they'll always be there to chase you down relentlessly. Speaking of being chased down relentlessly, Sponsor spots. Uh, check out some switches from zeopc.net for some of the hottest switches in our community for a smooth feel. Whether it's the fun and tactile Zelio switches, the smooth and linear Telios, or the quiet Zaland and Helios switches, there may be a switch for you over on zeopc.net slash man of interest. That's my affiliate link if you'd like to purchase switches to support this channel. Yay. Okay, let's get to the keycap news for this week. Starting off over on Novel Keys is the Star Wars GMK Boba Fett keycap set. Wow, wee! This is a pretty big bit of news since this set is officially licensed by the Big Mouse himself. Um, Disney has given Novel Keys permission to run this set, and it's been available now for $225. This set features both Mandalorian and English sub legends uh, with a large 178 key base kit. I'm more of a Star Trek than Star Wars kind of guy, so this set doesn't quite jive with me, but I can definitely understand why people would really like it. If you're a big Star Wars fan and you like keyboards, well, this could be the set for you. I mean, especially since. I'm, I'm a bit curious though, this isn't the first Star Wars set they've done, and I wonder what's going to be the next one. If you want to get the set, try using my promo code HueyHueyHuey for 5% off. Next up in the news is the Intersect 4 GMK Rainy Day by Owl. Inspired by the feelings, mood, atmosphere, and vibe of a rainy day, the set takes some themes of dark grays and blues to really sell in and make you want to snuggle up with some hot chocolate, I think. The current renders available are from keycaprenders.com and hopefully we'll get more color accurate renders done by some of the professionals in our community soon enough. Based on what I'm seeing, I think there could be uh, some potential. It looks pretty with that desaturation of those grays and alphas, which I think could work on quite a few boards in our community. Let's wait and see how it looks once some more renders come in. Over on SwitchMod.net is some exciting stuff. It's GMK Metaverse Round 2. Designed by Dead Encryption, this popular set is inspired by the game Persona 5, and it's now back and running until February 22nd. The base kit will go for a cool 115, and if you want to support this channel, hey, consider supporting the set through my affiliate link. Yes, I have one for uh, this set particularly as well. It's in the description, SwitchMod.net slash Huey, H-U-E-Y. The base kit is a nice black on white alphas with white on black mods and hiragana sub legends for the alphas and icons for the non bottom row modifiers. It's a look a lot of people like and many people want to get a hold of. If you really want to get that Persona 5 feeling, then the novelties will be right up your alley for $50 for that set. I think this set is more of a more of a base kit kind of thing for for me at least. I probably won't get the mods or I mean the novelties, but Hey, I think the set looks good without any kind of accents at all. And then because of that, I can understand why people are excited for this round too. Next up is the Intercheck for Comfy PBT by GS, G -H -S -T -G -R -L, Ghost Girl, which is a set inspired by the illustration from the artist Daisuke Richard. We have a peach pink color with two different blues and it's, it's interesting, but I feel it's a bit complete compared to the illustration because Richard uses a strong white to break up the colors of the picture while the set kind of misses out on that white. It's certainly a start, but I think it needs to incorporate that in some way. Lastly in our keycap news is the pre-orders for the set DSA Unalice, designed by Raffle Harnkiewicz. The set is inspired by Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. These will be die subbed PBT keycaps with an interesting font choice and very interesting novelties. Filling out a normal TKL will cost you 105, and it'll be an additional 38 if you want to get the star of the set, the novelties. The same for me. Okay, we have some pretty awesome keyboard news, and let's start us off with the EO87, and a project by TX Keyboards that they've been working on now. It's a TKL with a unique base that's made from milled acrylic. 
Honestly, the bottom of the board is what will make it or break it for most people, but I, it certainly won't break the bank for most of us. I mean, the price is attractive for an aluminum top, uh, plates, USB-C PCB, acrylic weight, and TX bag and cable. It's gonna cost you 200 plus shipping. That's, that's pretty good. Of course, if you're a baller, there are some upcharges for brass bits like plates and weights as well. The tentative pre-order schedule is for February 28th, which isn't too far off. And honestly, I think I'd be down to clown with one. The options for the plates are 5mm acrylic, 1.5mm brass, aluminum, and stainless steel, as well as 1.6mm FR4. The plate is sandwich mounted like traditional TX boards, and if you like RGBs, this would probably be a really bright board to have on your desk as well. In addition to this, TX has also teased the new TX60s on Instagram, letting us know the pre-order will be in February with 120 to 150 units total. Those new, those new sides of the board are definitely uh, unique and uh, that's a big hit or miss for a lot of people I've talked to. Hmm. Next up is the group buy for the GSKT-00 by Weston. It's a 60% with a gasket for a decent price. And that decent price is 225 uh, plus either 25 or 30 for a plate and 25 for a PCB. 200 spots available, first come, first serve. Not sure if it's gonna be live by the time this video goes live, but good luck if you're trying to get into this board and trying to get into that gasket and flexi typing style life. Our next topic is the Fallacy by Cinepanis. It was asked that I cover this uh, this week instead of next week since it's going to be running on uh, January 25th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Pacific. 50 units of this Alice layout keyboard will be available. So what are the features? Top mounted plate, anodized 5052 aluminum, uh, brass weight, 6.5 degree typing angle, 16.5 millimeter front typing height, and flex cuts in the PCB. Hmm. So how much are we looking at for this board? $420, unless you wanna get some brass bits, which will bump up the price. I'm happy that this layout continues to be popular ever since you'd see released the files for people to use. So, yay. Our next keyboard interest check is for the Profit 60% by Wex West Fox Trots. It is described as a pin mount seamless 60%. As far as I can tell, the pin mount means it's a sandwich mount using only the four corners of the case, allowing for more flex in the plates. Currently, the target price is 350, although that's subject to change since the timeline for the group buy will be uh, March 1st for two weeks long. And yeah, things can definitely change by then. There will be an MOQ of 50 units with no upper limit, which will be nice for people who don't want to be left out because of limited quantities. There will be a standard wind keyless and MX HHKB top available for this board. Our next two topics are macro pads. The first is the BN003 by Bindpad. It's a CNC machined macro pad made from a solid block of aluminum that has three switches and can be configured via QMK. Each macro pad will be $50 including shipping, pretty good. That's gonna be available in either clear anodized aluminum or white powder coat. It certainly is a interesting looking macro pad. I think three switches aren't that much, but hey, it'd look nice with artisans. Our next macro pad is the Lockheed 3x3 by West Foxtrot. Got it right this time. It's a simple nine key macro pad with a polycarb bottom and no plates. The PCB will just sit in the case, nice and easy. And we'll have four RGB LEDs on the bottom to shine through that polycarb bottom. And that's gonna be useful if you wanna use those RGBs to let you know what kind of mode or setting the macro pad is in if you use it for different kind of programs. The projected price will be between $90 and $100 with an MOQ of 25 units, and it's expected to run around either March or April of this year. So if you're into macro pads, you've got something to look forward to. Well, that's going to be it for this week in keyboards. Don't forget to check out the sponsor for this episode, zlpc.net slash man of interest. And if you'd like to support this channel, I do have a Patreon if you want to support my efforts further, and a Discord if you want to stay up to date with keyboard news and the projects I am working on. Aside from that, it's the standard, you know, like, subscribe, check out my other videos on the channel. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. It's not working. <laughs>